Hi everyone, my name is Von Dutchie. I'm the CEO and founder of Von Dutchie's Vault. Today, I would love to talk to you guys about one of my favorite healing stones, obsidian. Hopefully you guys could see. Let's talk about what's associated with obsidian. So obsidian is associated with the base chakra. And if you're a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, you probably have more of an inclination to actually heal yourself with these healing stones. The element that obsidian is associated with is fire and earth. So if your zodiac sign has an element of fire or earth, obsidian is the healing stone for you. As you can see, it comes in this black silvery color. Obsidian is a very powerful healing stone. It actually increases one's self-control and forces facing up to one's true self. Obsidian is truth enhancing, so it's a strongly protective stone. It also has the power to block psychic attacks and absorbs negative energy from the environment. It actually has the power to draw out mental stress and tension. It actually stimulates growth on all levels, urging exploration of the unknown and opening up new horizons. Obsidian brings clarity to the mind and clears confusion. It actually can help you to know who you truly are and it dissolves emotional blockages and ancient trauma. It promotes qualities of compassion and strength. Obsidian provides support, especially during times of change. Again, it repels negative energy and disperses unloving thoughts. It's a powerful cleanser of psychic smog created within your aura. The energies of this stone may stimulate the gift of prophecy. It has a good action to cut ties, to break negative attachments to people with whom you've been close to. Did you know that pieces of this stone that had a shiny surface were used in the past as a scrying tool? That's insane. It's also an excellent crystal to use when you've been doing spiritual work or healing work, as it has a strong action to ground you to mother nature. This black stone is excellent to assist you to release disharmony that has built up in your day-to-day -day life and as you work on yourself, including resentment of others, fear, and anger. Now you may ask, what's obsidian made out of? So obsidian rock forms from molten lava that cooled very quickly and had no time to form into glass. And it's found in a number of places worldwide. There are a number of different variations of this mineral. It comes in a range of types and colors. This also includes rainbow obsidian. So obsidian rock like this may also come in purple, green, brown, blue, but the black crystal is what we're concentrating on as they have the powerful metaphysical properties. The black stones have an excellent spiritual grounding vibration and also have a powerful action to aid spiritual communication as this stone may aid you to contact your spirit guide. So Obsidian's energy works by helping you to move any excess energy down via the Earth Star Chakra, Mother Nature. For many centuries, the Obsidian has been used successfully by crystal gazers and shamans to make contact with the spirit world. So keep obsidian in your auric field. So when cleansing obsidian, clear the crystals of energetic buildup that isn't for the highest good of all, including yourself. Black obsidian needs to be cleansed often as it comes in contact with a lot of negative energy. So run them under running water as often as you feel necessary. Also make sure to place them away from electronic devices as they can cause electrical disturbances as well as intensifying their negative energy. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video about Obsidian. If you have any more questions, you can contact me at my website via my contact page at www.vandechi.com. And if you want to watch other witchy wellness videos, you can go to my website too and check those out. And I'll see you soon. Bye.